find the equation of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x squared, the square root of 2x plus 3 for x greater or equal to minus 5 over 2 at x is equal to a half. Uh, well, because x has to be greater than minus 3 over 2, that means that we were all equal to that either we're taking the square root of 0 or a positive number. That's what that condition means. So drawing a graph to visualize the problem, and I use GeoGebra for this graph. So here we have our function. Here we have x is equal to a half. We're going to find that y is equal to a half later. And this is the equation of the line that I've got to find, which is the tangent. So we've got y is equal to x squared times the square root of 2x plus 3. That's type uv, product rule. So u is equal to x squared. We differentiate that du by dx. We get 2x v is 2x plus 3 to the power of a half if we differentiate that using the chain rule we're going to get a half right down the bracket 2x plus 3 reduce the uh, power by 1 so we get uh, one a half minus 1 which is minus a half differentiate the bracket we get 2 write your fractions one above the other then you can easily see that that 2 and that 2 cancel and therefore that now becomes 1 over, because of the minus on, in the indices, of the square root of 2x plus 3, because a half means to take the square root. Using the product rule, dy by dx is u dv plus v du by dx. So we're going to have dy by dx is going to be equal to u, which is x squared, times dv by dx, which is 1 over the square root of 2x plus 3, plus uh, v, which I'm going to re write back in its original format, 2x plus square root of 2x plus 3, times du by dx, which is 2x. Right, so writing that out again, again, now going for a common denominator. Oh, sorry, to set tidying up first of all. So we've got x squared over square root of 2x plus 3, plus 2x times the square root of 2x plus 3. And now writing this as a common denominator, a square root of 2x plus 3, this will just be x squared. We're going to have the plus 2x, but we're going to have to multiply uh, the 2x root 2x plus 3 by root 2x root of 2x plus 3. A root times a root cancels out, so we just get 2x plus 3, which is going to be equal to x squared plus 4x squared plus 6x over square root of 2x plus 3. So x squared plus 4x squared gives me 5x squared plus 6x over square root of 2x plus 3, common factor of x, and times 5x plus 6 over the square root of 2x plus 3. Now, we didn't actually have to um, put our value of x or half into here. We could have put, just put it into here. But this shows you what to do in, in case you had to actually simplify it. So at x is equal to a half, we put a half in here. We're going to get dy by dx is a half times 5 times a half plus 6 over the square root of 2 times a half plus 3. So that's going to be a half times uh, 5 over 2 plus 6. Uh, 2 times a half is 1 plus 3, so it's the square root of 4. So we're going to have 2 times 6 is 12, plus 5, which is 17. And that will now be over 4 because it's 2 times 2. And the square root of 4 is 2. 17 over 4 divided by 2 becomes 17 over 8. Leave it as an improper fraction because that represents the gradient of the tangent. And to find the y value, we just substitute back into y. x is equal to half into y, so we get a half of a squared times 2 times a half plus 3. Putting that out. We already know that this is the square root of 4, which is 2. So 2 times a quarter will make a half. So we now got that the gradient of the tangent is 17 over 8. The x value is a half, the y value is a half. Using Finding the equation of the tangent, using y minus y1 is equal to mt x minus x1. We're going to have y minus a half is equal to 17 over 8 times x minus a half. Right, taking the 8 up here, we're going to have 8 times y minus a half is equal to 17 times x minus a half. Expanding the brackets, we've got 8y minus 8 over 2, which is minus 4, is equal to 17x minus 17 over 2. 
So it gives me 17x minus 8y, so taking the 8y over here. If we add 4, it's like adding 8 over 2. We're going to be uh, subtracting 9 over 2. Uh, because we don't want a fraction, just multiply the whole thing by 2. We get 34x minus 16y minus 9 is equal to 0 is the equation of the tangent. Which means the equation of this line is 34x minus 16y minus 9 is equal to 0. So this has been a video to show you how to find the equation of tangent using the uh, product rule. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.